All right, jam ball volleys. This one, you can regress this and hold onto the jam ball at all times. Some people are going to want to. They're just going to shake it up and down, out in front. All right, another progression, and often it's still within a level one, but actually release it and take it up. So you're going to throw it just lightly against the wall as high as possible. What you'll see with both of these, people are going to start getting the, particularly when you let it go, they're going to start getting more lower body going in with it. So we'll bend those knees and then kind of squat press it up or thrust it up, push press it up. Don't let that happen. You're just going to throw it up. Make sure it also comes all the way back down to the chest. That's the other thing you see. We'll throw it up and take it right there. We don't want this little tiny volley. It's going to be very much like a volleyball volley. Take it all the way to that chest, take the lower body out of it, and throw it up overhead. Make sure we're isolating just those shoulders. Of course, uh, a couple other really good jam ball movements. Really intense. Uh, you're going to hold on to the jam ball and you're going to shake it out in front. Lock that torso, shake it back good and quick. Now this is one that's often done with a lower protocol because it really targets those shoulders. really gets it low, low, uh, loading up. What you often see with that is as people get tired, they start shrugging the shoulders up. Try to really fight that and bring the shoulders down as well. Other things, with that one, people will start arching their back. You might see it on both of these uh, movements. People will start arching that back. Make sure you keep cueing. Belly button's tight, hips tucked underneath. We want feet underneath those hips or just about underneath those hips. Other than that, positioning is really not too critical for either one of these. 